Hey everyone, this is Jaime with Roosters Comics coming to you with this week's Specs of the Week video, the week of March 3rd, 2023. I've got three amazing books to go over with you, two Bronze Age and one modern book. Sorry for no pull list video this week, guys. There was only one book on my pull list and it wouldn't have made for a great video, so I decided to wait till next week till I get a bigger stack. Also, guys, remember, this isn't financial advice. These are just my thoughts on what I think the book, these particular books are doing in the comic market and how they're going to affect the market. Also, guys, if you like my content, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. All right, guys, let's get into the list. First book of the day is Avengers issue 267 from 1986. And what makes this book so special? It is the very first appearance of the Council of Kings. Now, if you haven't watched Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, spoiler alert, in the post credit scenes, you see the Council of Kings. And they're all talking about how, you know, the bad Kang is dead, but... You know, we all know that they're all bad, and that's what's caused this particular book to spike. We can get high-grade, raw copies of this book running for right around $70. For a potential 9.8 candidate, you'd be looking right around $95 to $100. And as we can see, the GPA on this particular book, it's quite affordable. As you can see, 9.8s are trending up at $266, and they're all trending up. Reason being... Post credit scene just dropped. Even though the movie wasn't great, doesn't stop the spec market. And this book's going to continue to climb for a little bit until the hype of the, the whole thing dies down or until the next movie comes out. So as we can look here, when, this, when CGC started slapping books again, the book was only a $29 book. Nothing big. And it was pretty much that way all the way to 2013. We saw we see 51, 51 here. 2019 32 average price and then right here the comic boom 52 111 it spiked all the way up at 892 dollars which is ridiculous for this particular book to be completely honest with you and then it's dipped down all the way down to 142 and now it's found it's kind of quasi found it's leveling off point it's going to start spiking again this year alone we've got 16 copies of the book that sold and we look here, we just look for the month of February, you're looking at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 copies have sold. And as you can see, since this the movie released, you're looking at 249, 277, 280, 277, 275, 260, 289, 300, 250, 280, and 300. Now where do I think this book's fair market value is, to be completely honest with you? I'm thinking it's somewhere between 250, 260 dollars. I, in my opinion, would stay away from this book. Um, this is not a huge key. This is kind of one of those things where the post credit scene hyped up this book. I think once the hype of this book goes down, it'll drop lower than $250. I think it'll probably go down to somewhere between $180 and $200. And that's where I think the true fair market value of this book is. Not where... The market is dictating it right now. Right now, the prices are inflated, and they're going to continue to be inflated for a while until the next book that catches you know, the speculator's eye. Now, if you have this book and you're looking to flip it to get a better key, now is the time to do it. Between now and the next two weeks, I'm assuming, you're going to get a good premium on this book. If this is a book that you want for your PC because you're a huge Kang fan, I say hold out. Wait about two or three months. You could probably get this book for under $200 again. I don't think it'll ever dip between $180 um, again, and that's what I think about this book. Do I think this book has great long-term potential, you know, spec potential for the future? Yes. It's a Bronze Age key, or I, I guess you can go early modern, late Bronze Age key, and it is, you know, a minor key, you know, the first appearance of the Council of Kings. And if Kang Dynasty or Secret Wars is any good, this book will spike higher and you know there'll be a new floor for it if it's anything like the last several years of marvel films this book will die back down and you can get it for like right around the 180 dollar mark like i said before all right guys let's go ahead and get into the second book now the second book here today is something is killing the children issue six and this is the very first appearance of Aaron Slaughter and more importantly, Cecilia Slaughter. As we've been reading the Something is Killing the Children run, we know Cecilia now is taking a bigger role in the story. She has taken off her white mask and has decided to put it on the black mask. She's wanting to revitalize the black mask in the New York chapter of the Order of St. George. Now, we did hear two weeks ago that Netflix did re-pick up the option for this and they are working on a script. 
So I think all these particular books are going to eventually start climbing. Right now, the hype for these books are at an all-time low. So this is a great jumping on point if you're looking to make a quick flip or, or just grab a great modern need key, in my opinion. Now, as you can see, high-grade Raws, $81. If you're looking for a 9.8 candidate, you're going to be spending right around $90, bucks, in my opinion. And if you watched my CBCS unboxing video, I got a 9.8 of this last week which is up for sale at the Roosters Comic Store, by the way. So here we go. GPA shows here that this book right now is a $100 book trending down. You know what I say about trending down books, guys. It's just like a stock. If it's, if it's trending down, it's a great time to buy it. And if we look, when this book first came out in 2020, it was a $67 book. The, the hype of the series blew up in the comic boom as you can see it climbed up to 238 it peaked all the way at 318 dollars and it's been slowly trending down it was 142 went down to 83 and now it's starting to percolate back up and i think it's because of the netflix announcement as you can see 23 books this year have sold so far and in the month of march we've got two one for 130 130 in february we had several and we can just look back a little bit 115 110 and as right here, February 23rd is when the announcement happened, or a couple days prior. So as you can see, the pickups already begun. Now, do I think this is a great spec book? Yes. First of all, any 9.8 that you can get in get in on that's a key for right around hundred dollars. To me, it's 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 worth the gamble. If the series is a hit, like I hope it will be, this book's at a skyrocket. Uh, like I said, Cecilia is has a bigger role in the story. Aaron Slaughter, for those of you who haven't read the series, I'm not going to spoil it, is a intricate character to Cecilia and Erica. So this book is a double key, which is doubly important, you know, when it comes to speculation purposes. Anytime you can get two key, two first appearances in an issue, it only helps the book. And those are my thoughts on this particular one, guys. All right, guys, let's go to the final one. And the final one is, my opinion, the best one. It is Incredible Hulk, issue 271 from 1982, and this is the very first appearance of Rocket Raccoon in comics. And I am quite surprised how affordable this particular book is. So as we can look here, high-grade raws of this book, you're looking at right around $500. If you want a 9.8 candidate, you're going to be looking right around you know, $550 to $600. Now, we all know that Guardians of the Galaxy 3 is coming out. Now, before the Guardians of the Galaxy movies ever you know, came into light. This book was relatively dirt cheap. But since the movies have come out, Rocket Rancoon has got a huge fan base and everyone loves him. He's funny, sarcastic, and everyone loves him. If we can look here, the 9.8, right right around a thousand dollars trending down, which is a great, in my opinion, jumping on point for anything. We're looking back here, 20, you know, 2002, books like $31 slab, 9.8. Imagine if you had that right now and you you were looking to flip it, craziness. We can jump up, let's go to 2013. This is right around when MCU was kicking off. The book already jumped up to $295. Then it peaked up to 721, 652. And then as you can see, during the history of the MCU, 470, 501. Peaked here again at 1600. It dipped back down to 711. Peaked up again here at fifteen hundred. Dipped down. Peaked up again at twenty one hundred. Dipped down. And now it's at its leveling off point. This year alone, three copies of this book have sold. One thousand twenty nine, one thousand forty nine, and eleven hundred bucks. I think the fair market value of this particular book is right around one thousand dollars to maybe a thousand fifty. I mean, I, yeah, it's climbing up now. And the only reason why it's climbing up now is the movie's a few months out. Now, do I think this book is a great long-term spec? Yes. Reason being, the MCU isn't going anywhere. And as us fans of the MCU, you know, have kids, we're going to introduce our children to these stories just like, you know, our parents introduced us to Star Wars and things like that. And Rec Rocket Raccoon just had to get another fan base, a younger fan base. And those fans are going to want this book. I think thanks to the MCU, this is one of those books that will always hold its value. And I think it'll always, always, always continue to see gains. May not be great gains, but it will continue to see gains. I think 10 years from now, this book will be more expensive than what it is now. And if you own it, awesome. If you want it, I would probably say wait till after the movie drops 
it'll probably dip a little and then you can go ahead and jump on it um, unless you really want it you may want to look at you know something like a 9.0 because 9.0s are great books especially with a book this old and a 9.0 as you can see is 230 dollars and trending down that i think is a great great entry level purchase for this particular book you know from this from this time period like i said you'd buy this book now at 9.0 at 230 dollars you know 10 15 years from now this book may be you know a 400 to 500 dollar book you get tired of it you want to flip it you've doubled your money and that's it, guys. Those are my specs of the week. Once again, I want to thank everyone for watching. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out my eBay store. Those uh, CBCS books that I did the unboxing for last week are up now. Please don't forget to give me a follow on Instagram and Facebook, guys. It really helps. And remember, guys, once I get to 150 subscribers, I will be announcing what my 9.8 slab giveaway is for the 500 subscriber mark. And finally, guys, keep your ear out for that rooster crowing because when the rooster crows, that means a good deal's out there. Jaime Hernandez, Roosters Comics, signing out. Good night, everyone.